Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about programs. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, what are some programs you think every programmer should make at least once? This is, oh, this is going to be tricky. Mm, there's so many things. I mean, at least once, well, you should at least once implement practically every single damn coding interview algorithm that you can think of. For no other reason than if you sort of remember how to do it, you might be able to pull that fucking thing out of memory when they ask you to do it. For no other reason than, hey, you know what, Google does it. Or, well, someone does it. Or their recruiter said that, hey, this is a standard test that we should give everybody. Do it. Like, uh, just do it once. Try it once. And this is where you have to just uh, do what I uh, preach. Don't do as I do, because I haven't done this. I haven't actually taken the time to go through all the popular programming challenges. And, like, I still, like, literally still, and this, I know this is bad. It is re well, it's bad for me. It's not bad for anybody else. I have this naive worldview where I kind of just go, if I cannot solve this problem that you're giving me without reading up on it first or like preparing for it first then maybe i shouldn't be here in the first time in the first place it's kind of like uh, i mean if you're a real engineer well uh, then you sh uh, you should be able to pass your test uh, without having like i mean if you're a beginner i mean if you're a professional engineer that's what i'm talking about if you're an actual professional you should be able to pass the entry exam without needing to study for it. That's what, that's one of the things that I believe. Uh, or if you're a cab driver, you shouldn't be able to pass the, the driver's license test without having to study for it, ideally. Because otherwise something is, ki I mean, something is kind of off there if that's not the case. But I urge you to do that at least once. Try it out, get into the habit of um, solving these more algorithmic problems at least once. And then for my personal things that I actually do myself, uh, I do do these, I have done these things as well, it's just been a, quite a while since I did it. I would say build at least one CLI. I think that that's going to be very useful to you. Learn the, you know, these command line interfaces that you have uh, if you're using the command line. I hope that you're doing that because uh, there's a world of possibilities that's outside of Windows. Well, not necessarily the operating system, but you know, visual things are great UI everybody loves a nice UI but guys the command line that's where it's all at oh that's where it's at and a lot of those tools they start out that's these simple commands that you kind of use you just I mean you use the cat command or the list command or whatever it might be or so forth and uh, you don't really think about it, but you have a lot of your own processes and you have a lot of other things that could be very useful for you to be able to do with just running a C or running a command on your command line. And it will speed up your own process or it will help you with something. And if you just st go start to kind of figure out how to make your own command line programs, you will be surprised at how often you find that, you know what, actually this kind of weird random thing I have to do every time where you're going to do a release or something, because, uh, you know, nobody knows how the release process is going to, uh, uh, how to automate that thing completely. I can probably make it a little bit less painful by building this shell script or, a CLI, as I said, a CLI or something like that. I do this quite often, actually. I find it uh, it was a really good investment for me to just figure out, okay, how do I make a nice CLI? Something that I actually myself would like to use and so forth. And I built a few, actually. Uh, one or two of them were actually open sourced, I think. Uh, nothing fancy or anything like that. And then I have, for my own company, uh, always, at least at every company, I think, created at least one or two scripts or CLI type of things <coughs> to take care of common tasks that I usually just do within my editor or like something I have to do manually. And by building a CLI uh, or and getting an understanding how to work with them, you will, f as I was saying, you will find out that actually you can make your own stuff. Like, that is pretty useful for you. Uh, and then I also think that you should at the very least once build a, uh, a full stack uh, uh, application using a SBA and a REST API. The reason why I say that is even if you are a backend 
developer even if whatever you are I think it is extra I, I, I want to make this broader than saying that specific thing but I'm talking from a web developers perspective now so I hope that you can just bear with me uh, I think it's really healthy for each of us to at least once try to build a simple version of the main thing some uh, someone is doing in one area of programming an example would be I have built a few computer games in my day uh, very silly small games nothing fancy nothing that's gonna make me rich and uh, there's no intention to make uh, to making something fancy but I did it just to understand kind of how it works and I learned very interesting things about the way a game developer might co approach building a computer game and as a software developer well the bread and butter of what most or a, was as a web developer sorry as a web developer the bread and, bread and butter of what you're doing is usually to create some type of REST API with some type of front-end type of thing and a database or something like that and building just a simple version of that so you kind of understand what the I mean you're not gonna master the, master the thing you're not gonna be a master of this thing that's not the intention the intention is to just sort of understand how this thing works it's similar to basic education in school where you don't have to be a master of chemistry but it's sort of useful for you to understand how the thing works or physics or math or whatever it's just a it's like dipping your fingers in you just kind of feel the temperature okay this is sort of what this thing is about and I think that the that should be something you should do regardless of where you are or what type of program you are you I mean you can be a systems levels programmer or a web program a web developer or you can be a I don't know an and like a mobile app developer I've built several apps they were absolute shit uh, one or two might have been pretty useful and nice but I still did it just to see what is this thing about and it doesn't have to be harder than that so what I want you to take away from this is that I personally believe that every single programmer should at least once try to implement the, one of these standard algorithmic questions like the just just do it just start accept that in some cases I, even though it might not be completely relevant all the time and it is sometimes very silly to have very diehard computer science questions for some interviews uh, just accept that it's a fact of uh, IT and learn some of the common ones just to kind of figure out how the problems work and so forth that's number one number two is try to build a CLI at least once just try to build a script or something that helps you speed up your own process for something I've built so many of these everything from more bookmarklets that you know, I can make you make my uh, allow me to scroll through a bunch of stuff on a web page or click and select certain things or my own internal toolings for my work where I know that oh I have to write this code out a million times I just to write this little command that does it for me or a shell script or something like that that logs into an environment and does some operation or something like that this is very useful to be able to do uh, and then lastly I would say try at least once to build the basic version of whatever main thing an area of program uh, in a region of programming or an IT is about and so in web that would be an SBA with the rest API and some type of database in games development it would be a, some type of computer game build a mobile app with Android and with I and one with uh, in for iOS or whatever just try it a basic version so you sort of understand a very simple uh, simple uh, you get a simple understanding of what other people in other areas of IT are doing have a great day